I'm going to do it. No, I quit. I'm all in. No. Uh-uh, I give up. This time, I'm going all the way to Union. Forget it. I don't deserve to be treated like this. This back and forth, starting and stopping, beginning and quitting, does it feel good? Does that feel good to you? Or is it making you feel insane? Like nuts? Your twin flame is your mirror, your own personal mirror. What happens when you look into a mirror? You see your reflection. So your twin flame's actions are a reflection of you. They are a reflection of what is taking place within you. So you can keep telling yourself that you don't deserve to be treated this way by them, but they are treating you this way because you are already treating yourself this way. That is the mirror. That is the reflection. So you're being shown this behavior by them so that you can identify it within yourself and heal it using the mirror exercise. And if you think that looking into a mirror and saying things or talking to yourself, you know, saying affirmations is the mirror exercise. That is not the mirror exercise that I am referring to whenever I say to do the mirror exercise. That is just an exercise saying affirmations in front of a mirror. And while that may be of some help, it is not releasing your upsets and blocks. The mirror exercise I'm talking about is going within to identify where you are experiencing these negative feelings and loving that part of yourself in order for the block or the upset to release. And this frees you from experiencing living life under that false belief or illusion. So any pain, any hurt, or anger, or sadness, or whatever, whatever the feeling is, is illusion that is calling to be released. And when you release it, you're no longer controlled by that fear or illusion. So for example, you think that they are doing all of these negative things or living their life in such a such a way that you don't like and they're doing it all on purpose and that they don't love you at all wouldn't you love to like not believe that wouldn't there be so much relief knowing that that isn't true knowing that that is just a reflection of what is within you that you can heal and that that no longer has to take place? Isn't that such a better feeling? You have to determine for yourself, is it worth dumping or giving up on your twin flame journey? This is not like a decision to make when you are feeling super emotional, although it's easy to make a decision in that state of being. But I invite you to refrain from making decisions when you are in that place, in a super emotional or emotional state regardless, because you're not doing yourself any justice. Now, if you make a decision from that emotional state of consciousness or vibration, maybe you're already in that defeated feeling. You know, you feel sad, you feel uh, worthless or, you know, a number of things. It's easy to give up. It's easy to just give up instead of work through those emotions. But 
allow the highs and lows to pass before you make any decisions. You don't need to make a decision when you're not ready to. You don't need to make a decision when you're feeling it like you're in the basement or like you're feeling like garbage. Why make a decision then? What's the what's the benefit of making a decision, uh, a choice or a decision in that place? Wouldn't you rather be in a state of peace when you make a decision or make make a choice? That's where you're really going to benefit from that decision or choice. You know, otherwise you're running yourself into insanity. One day you're all in, one day you can do it, one day you can conquer this, one day you can get to the end, you can get into union, and the next day you give up. It's over. I quit. I don't deserve this. Forget about it. You're doing this. You're on this never-ending roller coaster ride. You could do it. You're choosing to. You give up. You start all over again. That's a pattern. Patterns keep you in a constant loop of no progress. You're just going in circles. Only when you notice a pattern can you put an end to it. You can make a new choice to push through it. So is it worth giving up on your twin flame journey? Is it worth giving up on your true love? Or is it worth working through it to completion, to have, to be in union with your twin flame? So every time you give up, you start from step one. No matter how far you've come, every time you give up, you truly give up, you make that choice to give up, right back to square one. All the work you did was erased. So forget about what you think that they think. Forget about what you think they want. Forget about how you think they feel. What do you want? Get clear on what you want. If you determine and make a clear decision that you want to be with your twin flame, you will be, regardless of anything else. If you keep doing the inner work and don't give up, you will get there, regardless of anything. So click on the links in the description box down below or go to my website, asoneguidance.com, for assistance to dissolving separation and permanently being in harmonious union with your twin flame, which is what everyone wants. And I'll see you next time.